So Jason went kind of on a roller coaster first season between turning against his dad, coming back with his dad. Where do we find him at the beginning of season two? You find him with his dad. And he is, um, you know, they're looking for mom. Uh, the bombs have dropped and she's missing. So they're, they have their own storyline. They're looking for her. And with that, you know, you get to deal with Jason and Tom. And you get to see their complicated relationship continue to unfold. And the audience gets to really explore that, which I think is great because it's a, it's a, it's a real relationship. You know, things aren't always nice. Um, so it's... Uh, I cannot wait till Jason has his own militia so he can just wipe this guy out. Um, no, it's, it's, it's a great, uh, it's great for TV, I think, to have those relationships so that young men and fathers can just share in it. And, and there's also a relationship between Charlie and Jason, but they're not together at the beginning of season two. So how does that work out? What's going on? I think it's kind of good, you know, it gives her some time to do her thing and, you know, explore herself and life and gives Jason time to grow up and understand what he wants to do and, and who he is. Um, so, you know, I think it's a good thing. We'll see if it comes back around. And finally, what's the... Oh. She'll come back around. She has to. And, uh, she has to, right? Good for the fans. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, you're right. You're right. I think so. And then finally, what was the most surprising part of being in the show this first season? How much I don't know as far as the story. It's been a real, um, it's been interesting to not really know what's going on and be fed information like bits at a time. So, In a good way? Is that a good thing? It's, it keeps you on your toes. It keeps you on your toes. But it's, it's, you know, you have to stay grounded and just really play the truth in a scene and, and you'll be fine.